This is family. This and is and love. you can eat. You can eat too. Yeah. <laughs> leaving the theater, you f you felt like you was one of us, right? No, you feel like one it of the wasn't boys? even leaving. It's why you watching. This is why I want to congratulate you guys. Cause you don't see a lot of movies where I totally felt connected from beginning mm. to end. Mm. Cause this is how I operate. This is how I love. This is how I live, and that's how I work. Yeah. And it's good to see that on the big screen. Nah, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. But I want to find out from each of you. What are your thoughts on the book that inspired the movie? That's Did Jerry's you? favorite question, Jerry. <laughs> Mr. Harvey's book that opened uh, up the can I, of worms. I think. I, I mean, obviously, the book was insanely successful. I think uh, it was a good kind of common sense thing to kind of say, which is sometimes women just need to hear it like that. And um, I think it's revealing because like, yeah, it's about men and what we do, but also it kind of uncovers a little bit of like, why do, you, why do women react this way when right. we do this? Right. So I do think there was something in it. I don't know. I think that I say I'm gonna keep saying it is that I think the book is great because it just opens up the dialogue. Absolutely. And as long as you're communicating, you're kind of head in, in a better place. So he didn't necessarily go in depth on every single character. An individual that he was describing, but <coughs> but what he did do was he sparked conversation. We, Kevin was on set preaching his perspective <clears throat> while we were doing the movie. We mm -hmm. couldn't get him to shut up. Yes. <laughs> so you were literally preaching during the movie. I've been known to preach. <laughs> was there like a personal connection with the book? Uh, well, no, like you said, opening the dialogue. You know, dialogue meaning debates means you know everybody's point of view. <coughs> and on set, our discussions about women, about dating, about. Uh, long-term relationships, you know, about being faithful. Just, we had a lot of stuff to talk about, and I think that made our days go by so much easier. And not only that, you know, it helps with the movie. When you're when you're supposed to be close and friends in a film, the more that you're talking and doing what friends do offset, which is interacting, it makes it that much better when you're filming. Right, Chemistry well, got better. Let's have each of you weigh in on why there's so many differences between men and women. Why does this always <laughs> exist? Because there have been other books before. You have this book. There's talk shows. There's all kind of advice. <laughs> Columns, so why does this still exist? Mike, why does this exist? <laughs> uh, you know, in my mind, it's it's what makes us dope. I mean, if, if, you know, a woman is dope because she's a woman, not because she's thinking just like me, in my opinion. I, I prefer for her to think like her, you know. She should have insight into how I behave and, and things of that nature, but I don't need her to think like me. But well, what's it going to take to close the gap? No, you well, know what? You go. No, you you, you break it down. No, we're fundamentally different, and we're raised different. When we're six years old, we're playing with G.I. Joes and blowing stuff up, and girls are playing with Barbies, putting together relationships. So their whole life, they're getting trained for marriage and for kids and for those things. And us, we're getting told our whole life, don't commit, don't settle down, don't get a pregnant. You like, got to provide for your yeah. kids, man. You got to yeah. find exactly. what you're going to do. Yeah. Exactly. So it's just, we're, we're apples and oranges. Junior. You agree? <laughs> I love the book. I, I agree. I don't think the gap's ever going to really close, um, or else I think it would have happened already. And um, <laughs> yeah, I don't see the gap closing anytime soon. <laughs> all right, all right. So there, there's room for more books like Think Like Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm the guy that just says stuff that makes everybody uncomfortable. Look, at the end of the day, men are like lions, and we hunt. Give me the worst dating advice you ever got or ever received and why it was so bad. Who, who we just said the word? Oh, yeah, right. my, my dad straight up told me. Do the me voice, this. though. Do the voice. He's like, Junior, cheat first because they go do it. <laughs> uh, I never, yo, honestly, I've never really received advice. Uh, probably because my, my dad wasn't there. But the thing, here's the thing. When you, when you, let's forget it, it's touchy. <laughs> I, I, I got to get some tissue in my pocket. Come on with it, man. Come, come on, on with it. Come on, come on. No, come on. you know, let's honestly, let's, let's I've, never, I've never really received them dating advice. I was kind of a, a, a learn on your own. I mean, my brother tried to explain what sex was to me, but I was like seven. And he did it with a cup. Like he had a cup and just was, it, it was weird. I didn't drink out of a cup for a long time. Cause <laughs> when my fear. brother associated with, I, I, for a long time I thought drinking out of a cup was sex. Cause when my brother showed me, that's about it for me. I have nothing else. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> no, I'm not thirsty. I don't want to get anybody pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Mike? What's, what's the worst? Uh, I've, I've, wow. <laughs> that says it all. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wow. Yeah. Man. What about you, Terrence? First piece of advice. I mean, I think all relationship advice is tainted. And everybody that gives you relationship advice is basing it off of past relationships they had that, that didn't work. work. Different, <laughs> that that, that did most work. likely didn't. And so you just gotta, you gotta follow your own path. That's good. All right, give me the craziest pickup line you heard one of your boys drop on someone and why it was so wacky. 
One of my boys dropped one that you would think was good and it actually worked, but it's really stupid. But he asked a girl for a number and said, only give me seven digits. I'll figure out the eighth. It's like, yeah, because there's only eight options. Like, it's not that difficult to figure out the last one. But she took it like, wow, if you could figure it out, then we should talk. I heard, uh, uh, you got to make eight calls, basically, and then you'll exactly. eventually get the number. I heard Mike. I heard Mike tell a girl one time. <laughs> he was like, he looked at her. And he said, yes, these are my real eyes. <laughs> and literally, she was like, oh, my God. And next thing I know, he was kissing her. It was crazy. That night was crazy. That was a wild night. It was crazy. So yeah. you're verifying that that was a true story? Of course I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, anybody else got one? No, uh, what was it? What were we talking about here? Worst pickup line you heard one of your boys deliver and why it was so wack. This is PG-13, right? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Keep it clear. <laughs> All right, let's get to the let's get to the finale because I mean I, I I love the the sexiness and the romantic vibe and the whole relationship elements of the movie. But I want to find out from each of you like what's your all time favorite black movie and why? Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you go first, Kevin. You go first. Uh, yeah. Love Jones. Jones. Love Jones for me. I was gonna go Boomerang for Boomerang. The record, but, uh, Boomerang. That's damn it. Yo, I, that's. I should have said that. She tried to. Yeah, why, why, why Love Jones? Why Boomerang? Well, Love Jones, to me, uh, Love Jones was cool. And as a young guy, it made you want to fall in love. Like me being young, watching the movie, it made me like, dang, man, I can't wait till I fall in love and, and want a woman as bad as he wanted this woman. Like, mm. just the chase between Lorenz Tate and Neil Long in that movie and the way that things came in between them and, you know, how one got stubborn and the other moved on and this one moved on. But at the end... It was about getting what they thought that they both wanted. Like I felt like Love Jones back in the day for me made me realize what love was. Mm -hmm. Boomerang touched on a lot too, though. But oh, Terrence, love and basketball for me. Uh, oh, the 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 music on that Soundtrack. when they play that Max, <laughs> women's like that just made me fall in love. We talking about our favorite what? Black, Black romantic movie. Yeah. Black romantic movie. Yeah, yeah I'm. Man. I'm just not. I'm not in the rom romantic movies, man. I ain't. <laughs> I I'm not in the black <laughs> romantic movies, so man. Like nah, like, nah. I mean, you, oh, like, a lot of people are gonna Dolomite. say. That. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Dolomite. A lot of people gonna think I'm tripping, but like for me, um, one of my favorite love stories was in a black movies was City of God. Um, and I know that it didn't seem like it was based on a love story, but when they introduced the love story, it was probably one of the most gripping parts of that entire movie for me. No, I told a love story, plus that's like one of my favorite that's movies. One that's one of the best choice. movies. That's, that's actually a brilliant made. choice. Thank you, man. No, Thank you. you. Yeah. For that. If I had a medal, <laughs> I'd put it around your neck. That's, not, that's, that's a hell of a choice, <laughs> that's man. A that's great a great movie. Choice. Um, All right, Mike, yeah. it's on you, man. You're going to wrap this one up. I, I, I'm, I'm with Kevin on Love Jones. I think what they, what, what, what they did right was they showed the cool off period. Like when you fall in love and then all of a sudden, you know, that woman's just sitting there in a chair next to you on the couch and it just ain't the same anymore, you know, and the kind of roller coaster nature of what it is to be in love. And then, of course, there's the greatest line in that movie that Isaiah Washington had about just real love, which is falling in love is easy, but somebody tell me how to stay there. Mm. So that, that to me was like, wow, because that is the, once you get it, sustaining it, Forever is probably the hardest thing anybody can do. I think it's kind of intuitive myself. I think we're supposed to move on. I mean, we're just nomadic beings ultimately. Yeah, yeah. I want you to eat bacon. <laughs> what, what I will say is the, the best black love story, think like a man. There you theater, go. That's the best man. way to do it. No, this movie's dope, y'all. Thank you. 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 Th